alaikum, my name's Rebecca, I'm 26 years old and I'm from Scotland. I converted to Islam two months ago, alhamdulillah. I spent about a year to a year and a half doing a lot of research online before I actually took my shahada. I was brought up in a small island called the Isle of Skye, the very north of Scotland. Neither of my parents were religious. I wasn't really brought up religious at all. I mean, I went to Sunday school mostly because my granny was a devout Christian. When I got older, I stopped going. It just wasn't something I was interested in. I didn't enjoy it. I just purely went for my granny's sake. My idea on Islam back then, I mean, I didn't really know much about it, but what I did know was what I'd heard on the news, which we all know they portray Islam in a really, really terrible way. If I was walking down the street and I seen a woman in a niqab, I would probably cross the road because I would be scared. And that is really, really sad. I went on a family holiday to Turkey about six years ago now and that's when my opinion on Islam changed. I met so many amazing people. They were all Muslim. The hospitality was second to none. The friendliness. It's just, I hadn't experienced that before and that's when my opinion actually changed on Islam. Um, I still didn't think that I would become Muslim or anything like that but my opinion from what I'd heard in the media to then being in a Muslim country had completely changed my idea on Islam. When I went to Egypt with my mum, that was during Ramadan. So I got to find out a little bit more about the religion, and fasting and things like that. And I just thought, wow, like that takes such strength to be able to fast for the full month. That's something that I could never do, but I have so much respect for people that do that. I got a CD Quran for my car. It would recite a little bit of the Quran and then it would say it in English as well so I could understand it. I would play that when I was driving. Wow, it made me feel so, so calm. I can't even explain it to you, this calmness. I just felt so content and like all my worries were just lifted. This is how I would feel. That was very, very special, subhanAllah. With it translating to English, I could really understand what was being said. So I loved the sound of the Quran and just the way that it made me feel. Even if I had like crazy road rage or something, I'd put the Quran on instantly I would just feel so calm and that was really really lovely I thought wow this is very very special when we were away we were in Indonesia Jakarta and we went to the Istiklal mosque that was absolutely incredible. It's the fifth largest mosque in the world. I went in as a visitor. They were so, so kind. They gave us so much information about the mosque. They did a full tour. And then I met up with my husband. We were just sitting outside. It was so calm and peaceful. The Adan started playing. I have never, ever heard an Adan like this in my life, subhanAllah. I had tears in my eyes. It was so powerful. My husband went in to pray and I sat at the back. I was crying. I was, I was honestly crying. To see grown men running to pray. Like there was, there was hundreds of people came in to pray. But to see grown men running, I thought, wow, 
subhanAllah, that is incredible. To be at that age and to believe in something so much that you're running to go and pray, I just thought it was just amazing. Made to feel so welcome in that mosque. Even though I wasn't Muslim, I was made to feel so, so welcome. That played a part in me becoming Muslim as well. One day, inshallah, I would love to go back as a Muslim and be able to pray there. Inshallah, that would be really lovely. Ashadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallahu Illallahu Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluh Wa Rasuluh I bear testimony I bear testimony That there's no God That there's no God Except Allah Except Allah And I bear testimony And I bear testimony That Muhammad That Muhammad Is his messenger Is his messenger And servant And servant Amen I took my shahada, I think, five days before Ramadan. I thought this was the perfect time for me. Glasgow Central Mosque, if any of you are in Scotland. My husband went in and prayed, and I sat in the car, literally shaking. I was so nervous. So my husband comes back to the car and he goes, come on, let's go. I went into the mosque with him and took my shahada, alhamdulillah. I can't even tell you how it felt. It felt like I was sitting on the chair, but. I wasn't me, I was like up here looking down at myself. I just felt so, so calm. Like the way that I was feeling when I was listening to the Quran in the car, that's my feeling. So, so calm. And I just felt like I wasn't even in my body, I was just watching me say my shahada. Allah chooses who he wills, and I'm so grateful that I was chosen to revert to Islam. A lot of my questions in life have been answered. I don't have one single doubt in my mind. It's given me so much peace and happiness and structure to my life. When I was traveling, I made a lot of dua. All of my dua were answered and I just couldn't believe it. But there was this one particular dua that I made. I thought that we were gonna get it, but last minute it was canceled. And I was really, really disheartened. But then something better came along. And Alhamdulillah, we think that we are good planners, but Allah is the best of planners. Just always put your trust into Him. He knows what's best for you. 